Sometimes when you're lunging, you might only feel it in your quads. It might bother your knees. You might not feel your glutes at all. So here's a variation where we're gonna use our hamstrings to help us find more opening in the backside of our hips so that those glutes are now loaded to help us push out of the movement and take it out of being all in your quads. The other things that will happen is that sometimes as we do a split squat or a lunge is that people might stay back and never let their knees go over their toes or they'll come forward and they'll shift back. We want kind of this balance of letting your knee come over your midfoot while keeping your hips back so that this movement is like an elevator of a straight down and a straight back up. What we're gonna do here is you're gonna think about getting about eight inches or so away from the wall. Back foot's gonna be back in a comfortable lunge position, so you don't wanna to be too far back or too far forward. Hips are gonna be square to the front and level throughout the whole movement. So if we lose this opening in the backside of that left glute, a lot of time what will happen is that we'll shift to the side or maybe rotate away. So watching that those hips stay square is gonna help load that glute. We're also paying attention when we come out of it that you don't rotate out right now because that's gonna be more of a tendency to get more hip extra rotation. And maybe we were trying to focus a little bit more on just glute max. And so we wanna keep hips pointed straight ahead so that you're getting more of that hip extension movement and calming down those deep hip rotators. So we're here and then we're going to hinge at those hips. Hip flexors are soft as you sit back into those hips. My head is gonna to touch the wall. This is gonna help guide you down. You're thinking about keeping the same angle of hinge at your hips throughout the whole movement. What will happen is that as you're going down, if you don't have this lengthening ability in your glutes, you'll either lengthen more from your hamstrings going into a greater hinge versus letting yourself sit straight down, or you won't wanna lengthen and you'll end up kind of tucking forward here. So it's that balance between the two of letting your knee go over midfoot while sitting into those hips. So we're here, hinged, head on the wall. You're gonna drag your left leg back, so that front leg back, to feel that hamstring without letting your knee straighten. Then you're going to keep this left heel heavy, pretend like it is glued down to the ground right on that backside here. As you let your knee come forward, you're visualizing your pelvis being pulled down by that hamstring to sink straight down, hips are level, and then you're gonna press the ground away, keeping that big toe down as you push down to your heel. Head staying on the wall the whole time, feeling that opposing, letting your knee come forward, but opening back here so that you sink straight down into it and then pressing back up and away. If you want some added stability and glute action on the other side, you can give a little squeeze of that back glute as you go to come up, making sure that knee doesn't lock out that pelvis doesn't twist, you don't tuck under, but it's just this nice, long, lengthened position. And that can help work those glutes in two different positions and give a little bit more stability in your pelvis. But hopefully after doing a few reps of that intention movement, only going as far down as you can go to get the opening from where we want, inhale, exhale, maybe sink a little lower, come back up, do it again. When you come to your lunges or split squats afterwards, Maybe things feel a little bit more open and you can just come up and down without thinking quite so much of it to find more balance in your hips.